What is going on everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video. Of course, today is Q&A Saturday. I actually missed out last week, but that was for good reason. Obviously, we were covering Combat Pack 3 reveal. And ever since then, you know, it's been crazy with like the Justice League gear and Hellboy's release. It's been very, very busy, which I'm not complaining about whatsoever because I always, you know, like when something new happens with Injustice 2, it's like, oh yeah, we got some new toys to play with, like Hellboy. You know, different looks to me are like different toys, even though it's still the same character, you know, Batman, uh, you know, Aquaman, all these characters are pretty much the same, excluding like some nerfs and, you know, changes to the characters, but just visually, if they look different, I'm like, yeah, I'm really excited to play. So that's why there was no Q&A last week. So down below in the comment section, leave your question that you want to get answered in the next q and I actually scrapped a lot of the questions that I had before Fighter Pack 3. Um, because a lot of them were, you know, talking about Fighter Pack 3. So now that we got that revealed, if you guys have any new questions, leave them down below. I'll answer as many as I can in the next Q&A video because I scrapped all of them. We got a brand new slate to work with. All right, so let's get started here. First couple of questions you guys know are just like general questions that I get asked. First question is, how many characters do I think is going to be in Dragon Ball Fighters? Um, so if you guys don't know, you guys might not care if, about Dragon Ball Fighters, but to me, it's like a dream come true game, and I'm going to be going in on that even harder than I did probably on Injustice, just because I, I love Dragon Ball. So right now we have, I think, 20 confirmed characters. Um, that includes some of the different variation of characters, but since they are being counted as a different character, uh, let's just include them. We have 20 unique characters in Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, I'm assuming that the roster is going to be around 25 characters. I really don't see it being more than 25 characters on launch, even though, you know, some characters are pretty much the same, like, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and then the regular Goku, regular Vegeta. Same thing with like Kid Buu, Gohan, uh, you know, who were just recently announced. I think we're gonna have around 25 characters. It would, I would be very happy if we have more, but what I'm looking forward to is who are gonna be DLC. Um, at the moment, uh, there were a lot of people assuming that Beerus might be in the initial roster because there's a character that looks like Beerus, um, you know, but it's very, very blurry. I'm not even gonna bring up the pictures, not worth seeing, um, but a lot of people were speculating during this arcade, you know, uh, tower that they showed there, there's a very very blurry picture that kind of looks like Beerus so if he is in the initial game then we have uh, you know a chance for other characters from Super to be in the game because right now it's all about Dragon Ball Z like classic Dragon Ball Z characters uh, there hasn't been really any characters except for of course Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta you know, representing like Super. I think those characters are going to be saved for DLC. Same thing with maybe movie characters like Broly. I don't think Broly is going to be on the main roster, but I don't see a way that Broly doesn't make it into this game. You know what I mean? Like, because he, he is a fan favorite. Uh, some people don't like him. Some people like him. But he is, uh, you know, I think he's like a, a huge fan favorite in my opinion. So, and, and I, I really want him. Um, but as far as like the regular roster, I think there's going to be like 25. If there's more than 25, I'll be happy with that. Moving on here, uh, will Fighter Pack 3 be the last DLC? So a lot of people have been asking me because in the description of Fighter Pack 3, um, it says get the final DLC characters um, available, you know, whenever. Uh, I'll get a screenshot. I don't remember what the actual like quote is, but it's in the description of Fighter Pack 3, pretty much saying that these are the final DLC characters for Injustice 2, uh, that you could get them as they come out or in the Ultimate Edition. Um, you know, ultimate pack, whatever. And the answer to that is obviously they're going to put that because they don't want to give anything away. If they were to say, oh, you know, check out the next three DLC characters, uh, maybe people are going to take that as, you know, there for sure there's going to be more characters. Um, in a recent interview, Ed Boon said that not all DLC characters are decided when the game comes out. Obviously, when the game comes out, uh, they would have already finished the game for weeks on end so the first maybe one two maybe three dlc characters are decided and they start working on them um, but it was confirmed by him that the team doesn't start working on or doesn't have an idea and doesn't have all the dlc characters picked so let's just say for example you know red hood starfire and sub-zero were already picked 
they were already being worked on but that doesn't mean that a character like uh, Raiden and Hellboy were already chosen while they were working on the first three DLC characters. You know what I mean? So characters get decided by the whole team as far as uh, can they do this? Do they want to do the, this DLC character? Um, so they might be thinking about it right now. Who should we get for the Fighter Pack 4 if we do have a Fighter Pack 4? But in my opinion, I think there will be a Fighter Pack 4. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, do you think the Ninja Turtles lived up to the hype from Ed Boon? Oh man, not this. This question is not from Ed Boon. It's just lived up to the hype that Ed Boon set for the quote-unquote surprise character. And oh yes, it definitely did a hundred percent. I don't think I saw one comment ever in any of my videos talking about Fighter Pack Three, and I did make a lot. Uh, same with other YouTubers. There is not one person that ever suggested the Ninja Turtles. Like, I have never seen one person talk about Ninja Turtles possibly being in Injustice 2. So, yes, that's a big, bigger shocker than uh, Triborg was. It's a bigger shocker than Alien. Those were, like, the, the top characters, in my opinion, that were huge shockers to me in, like, MKXL. Um, was, w was it, like, a, a better surprise? Like, did I... Was, was I more hype than, like, Triborg, for example? Hell no. I don't think I will feel the same emotions that I felt when I saw Triborg come up to the screen and switch between colors for uh, Cyrax, Sector, and, of course, the regular Triborg. Like, when I saw that, I almost, you know, uh, soiled myself. Let's keep it G-rated here. I almost soiled myself because of how happy and excited I was that we were going to get one robot that was going to be three characters. And to my shock, we got a fourth variation with Cyber Sub-Zero. So like to me, Triborg will probably always be the number one character that I was the most hyped for in a reaction video. Um, but like as far as like a surprise, yeah the Ninja Turtles definitely take the number one spot as far as like a, a surprise character because who would have thought that would have been possible in Injustice 2. So yeah, it, was definitely, it definitely lived up to the hype for the surprise. Mm, all right, next question here. Would you like Enchantress to play like Ermac? Uh, based on what we've seen so far, it seems like Enchantress is going to have like a long range beam projectile, at least from, you know, the trailer cinematic trailer i don't know if we should take anything by that um but it, it would make sense for her to play a little bit similar to ermac i would want her to ha i want her to have a teleport she has to have a teleport i want her to, ha to have a teleport um if, if she does play like ermac i'll be fine with it but i kind of want her to play like her own unique style you know use the magic and in, in a creative way um, but the teleport, in my opinion, is a must. That's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to have her in the game, you know, because she's a magic user that, you know, uses that teleports, you know, often. So I want to see a teleport. Uh, we don't have that many teleport characters. Uh, we have Supergirl. We have Black Manta that has, you know, like the teleport uppercut. Um, we have Darkseid. And I feel like I'm missing somebody. Um, but we the point is we don't have too many like teleport characters in the game and I really want her to have one um, A lot of people were making the comparisons that she looks like a female version of Ermac and Other than like just just the way she looks her eyes are you know uh, are green and just By that and like she uses a lot of green energy and like green powers that does look like Ermac uh, as far as her backstory and everything and their backstory it's not even close, but just visually, like the green magic, and yeah, she. I see where people are coming from. Uh, but if she does play similar to a variation of Ermac, maybe Mystic. I don't see Master of Souls or anything like that. Definitely not Spectral. I don't see her having that kind of. Uh, you know, Spectral Ermac is pretty much Black Manta. That's why I really like Black Manta's gameplay because he's pretty much Spectral Ermac with projectiles. Uh, he's like Spectral Ermac and Sector combined, which is a really good combination. Um, but if she plays like Mystic Ermac, then I, I would definitely see that working. Moving on here, um, what do you think of Hellboy? And how would you rate the fighter packs from best to worst? I'll do you one better. I'll even include, you know, like my rating for each individual character. So 
what I think about Hellboy, I've only played him for three hours. I only played him during that first first initial stream. Um, but just from that, I had a lot of fun with him. His mobility is something that is very entertaining to play as because you could, you know, you could do the leap, you could cancel it backwards, forwards, you could actually cancel it without doing anything and just landing. There's a lot of mind games that you could play there. He has forward two three, which I'm very, very used to, as you guys know. Uh, I play Superman a lot. So forward two three is really good. Uh, his projectile is really fast. The upwards projectile is really good. So I think he's a good character and he's a lot of fun. Um, and he's entertaining, you know, with his intro dialogues, with his clash quotes. Very entertaining character. Uh, it seems like a lot of people really dig him as well uh, in the competitive scene and on YouTube because the videos have done really well, gotten a lot of great feedback from it. So you could definitely expect some more Hellboy in the future. Now, the fighter packs, rate them in order. Uh, I can't really rate Fighter Pack 3, um, but I, I, I guess I'll rate my excitement for those characters. So let's start off with Fighter Pack 1. We had uh, Red Hood, Starfire, and Sub Zero. Okay, so Red Hood, um, f Fighter Pack 1 and 2, I'll rate like, do I like them in the game now that they're there and, you know, how they play all that? So Red Hood, I'll give them like a 6. Uh, he's, he's okay, he's, I mean, he's, he's really, he's a really good character, but I was never into, like, Red Hood that much, and he's, to me, he's not, like, that fun to play. His, his bomb conversions are really fun to do, but other than that, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really have too much fun playing him, uh, but I know a lot of people have him as a 10 out of 10 because, you know, they're fan, they're, they're, they like that character a lot. So I give Red Hood a 6 out of 10. Starfire, oh man, um, I had such high hopes for Starfire. She looks amazing. Um, maybe the best looking female character as far as, um, you know, just the way her shaders look, um, her gear, and her animations, her super move. But she's not that fun of a character to watch and play. Um, she's, her biggest strength is her zoning. You know, she has this grenade that she throws out at different areas, plus five on block. It helps you zone even more. Her zoning is very, very, very good. One of the best in the game. Uh, maybe even, like, uh, a little bit better now that Deadshot got nerfed. So, you know, her thing is, like, zoning, which I know her star bolts. You know, she does use those a lot. But I was I was looking forward to seeing Netherrealm take advantage of her being her... You know her flight being one of her biggest uh, powers and strengths um, but that didn't happen so because of that I would give Starfire a 5 out of 10 I think that 5 is just the way she looks and her shaders like the the emoticlone shaders that changes like everything about her her hair color and everything all that is a 5 like her gear and the way she looks and her shaders are the 5 and then her gameplay is like a 0 to me honestly like I uh, She's not, she's very boring to play. Um, moving on to Sub-Zero. I give Sub-Zero an 8 out of 10. Gear is good. He's fun to play, in my opinion. Uh, of course, if you play him very defensive, he can get boring, but he does a lot of damage. And the fact that you can make every single classic Mortal Kombat ninja in one character, 8 out of 10 to me. If he was a little bit more fun to play, then I would give him a 10 out of 10. Uh, moving on to fighter pack number two, we had Black Manta, we had um, Hellboy, and who was the other character? I'm drawing a blank here. Wow, is it is this character this forgettable? Hold on, Black Manta. Oh, Raiden. Oh my, I seriously, no joke. I'm not even joking around with you guys. This is not a troll. I honestly forgot that Raiden was the other DLC character. Wow, I guess that tells you something. So, Black Manta, I give him a 10 out of 10. His gear is wacky crazy. His gameplay is super fun. Um, you know, like I said earlier, he's Ermac and Sektor in one character, uh, which I think that is a, a hell of a good time. So, Black Manta, 10 out of 10. Um, Raiden, his gear is really amazing, but his playstyle is kind of boring. Uh, so I give him like a 5, 5 out of 10. Same thing with like Starfire. His gear is really, really cool. He, he has some amazing looks. He has one of the best costumes in the game with like the ninja mask. He has, it was in my top 5 of best looking, you know, gear combinations. So the gear and everything, that's 5 out of 10. And then his gameplay is like 0 in my opinion. 
And then Hellboy, I give him a 8 out of 10. If his gear was better, if they had better gear for him, honestly, shirtless, Hellboy is the best looking Hellboy to me. Because he has these hot, flaming pants. He has the bell-bottom pants. Really weird choices for him. Uh, the biker look is pretty cool. You can make him look like a uh, you know, straight-up demon with the demon shader. But to me, shirtless Hellboy with his regular default head looks the best. Um, so if he had like better gear, he would be a 10 out of 10 because I think his gameplay was really fun. So now moving on to Fighter Pack 3. Adam, his gameplay I'm really looking forward to. Um, his gear has potential because if they can make Raiden look really cool, you know, I think uh, Adam is going to have some nice gear. Like his default look, I I don't like it at all. I think he looks kind of kind of goofy. Um, but his gameplay, very interested. So I'll give my excitement for him a 7 out of 10. Most of that is gameplay wise. Moving on to Enchantress. Uh, I wanted her since the beginning, since we saw the silhouettes. I'm like, yes, Enchantress. I don't even need to say anything else. 10 out of 10 for me. We needed more female characters in the game. I wish there would have been, you know, like maybe one other female character in the game, except, uh, you know, take. I don't know. I don't want to say take any character because last time I did that, people got angry. I just think we needed another female character. So Enchantress, 10 out of 10 for me. And then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are going to be pissed about that, but that 6 out of 10 is all gameplay, baby. I just want to see how they look. Uh, I don't know about I don't know about their gear. Honestly, I don't know what they're going to do with their with their gear, but the gameplay, I'm really... Let's let's bump it up to a 7, all right? 7, and this is strictly gameplay. Like, I'm so curious to see what they're going to do with these characters and how they're going to play together. That's, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Like, just the gameplay. I don't care about gear. They they could look like the, the regular base Ninja Turtles to me. Like, iconic-looking Ninja Turtles. It's fine. Um, but the gameplay is what I'm really looking forward to. So, that is uh, the rating that I have for... All the fighter packs uh let's see oh my god we are 17 minutes into this i think that might be the end of today's video oh let's answer one more just because this is like relevant right now so loki asked how would you rate the new justice league gear uh, i think every character excluding cyborg and superman have amazing looking justice league gear uh, number one is flash number two is aquaman number three is Batman number four is Wonder Woman, number five is Cyborg, and last but not least, or last and least, unfortunately, is Superman, uh, as far as the Justice League gear. So, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.